I did it. My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. Perfect. I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? Good. Let's do a quick overview of how to play. Let's start with the basics. By holding down the B button or touching the icon at the top left, you can highlight the objects with which you can interact. Try to see what happens. Great! As you can see, the hot spots are marked with an icon like this one. You can speed up the dialogue by pressing the A button or by touching the screen. If you want to pick up an item, use it, or talk to someone, you can do so by pressing the A button or touching the object and using the interact icon. Now try to pick up the object you spotted a few moments ago. Good. Now let's focus on the inventory. You can open or close it by pressing the Y button or touching the icon at the bottom left. Give it a try. Very good. You can examine an item both in inventory and in your surroundings by pressing the X button or touching the object and using the examine icon. Reopen the inventory and examine the item you just collected. Perfect. We have completed the tutorial. Here's a last bit of useful information. You can open the pause menu by pressing the plus button or by touching the menu icon at the top right. Finally, by double pressing the A button on the directional arrows or by double touching them, you can immediately move from one place to another. If you are uncertain of what to do, you can access the help section included in the pause menu. Let's start. Its contents could come in handy. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. Et voila! It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. It's a memento. Best leave it here.
essential for traveling. I need a ladder to get to it. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. They will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Here they are. My mother took almost everything with her for this journey. I better not turn it off. Mom must have had her reasons for leaving it like this. At least I think so. I don't need a map to get to Bone Town. I already know where it is. Moreover, this isn't a map of our state. It's not about bragging to friends. It's the symbol of my family, and I'm proud of it. Admire my physical prowess. Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. It looks ancient, and there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow! Now in your inventory you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory, select an item with the A button, then select a second item. If successful, Wait a few moments and you'll see these items combine and a brand new one will appear. This will certainly be very useful. Try to combine the item you just found with another item you already have in your inventory. I must try to find a better way to use this piece of memorabilia. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. Now I feel just like Lupin. It could contain something important that would be of use to me. It's my mother's alarm clock. Ever since she gave it to me to repair though, it stopped working altogether. I've already read them all. Best not to add to the problems this object already has. I ran out of it this morning. I meant to go shopping, but my plans fell through. If somebody threw something in there, it means it wasn't meant to come out again. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's no use to me. I prefer to leave it here, otherwise I won't be able to monitor the phases of my puberty. There isn't a drop left. I used it all for the bath I was planning to take. I need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet.
I feel more at ease taking it with me. I promise when I get back, I'll sort everything in alphabetical or chronological order. Just as I've been doing for the last year. If only there was a rubber chicken. But these could come in handy too. Too many things. I couldn't take them all with me. I'd better take only what is strictly necessary. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. Let's see what's wrong with it. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. I don't need a broken alarm clock for my trip. I think I'll need it shortly. I don't need a painting to remind me of my grandfather. There's information that could be useful. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Fix mom's alarm clock. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Buy new sun lotion. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Save money. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Return books to the library. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Read instructions to assemble bicycle. And there's more. It's not time yet. Perfect. A few more parts. Nearly there. Not long to go. How can I possibly use it? Maybe this is the best place for it. I've already read them all.
I can't. When mom leaves for a trip, she always turns off the gas to avoid any unpleasant surprises. She always says that for a kid my age, the microwave is more than enough. I don't think the incident last year helped. Let's just say that calling the fire department about a burned pan can't exactly be considered my finest moment. In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. I could do with something to cook. Others use it to cook sweet little furry animals. I prefer heating up something already cooked. It doesn't look like it, but there's a logical order. If I start moving everything, the whole day will be affected by it. I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. I need something to secure it. Just what I needed. I couldn't go anywhere without it. No thanks. I never eat between meals. Not now. I have more important things to do. I already had breakfast. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza is my favorite. Maybe I might eat a slice later for a snack. Very good! There's still something missing. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Better shut the closet. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. The screws don't turn. They got rusty with time. Et voila! Excellent! The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. Now it works.
It works perfectly. I would only run the risk of damaging it. Another part. Almost ready. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfectly. Not long to go. How professional. Nearly there. I would like to return it among the boxes stacked in the closet, but I'd better leave it here. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. I'd really love to try it. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. All I need now is ready-to-go transportation. All I need now is ready-to-go tra- Bone Town, here I come! Let's go. something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. I've arrived at the Dead Man Inn. This was the place I always stayed with mom and dad when we came here. 
And it's the same place indicated by my father in his letter. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn, in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. I'd rather not touch that substance. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. Locked. <laughs>